modern healthcare, as we look at how the way we've been delivering healthcare has not worked because it's treating the body just as the body. We see now with all this recognition that we are more than the physical body and that our mind and our emotions and our spirit have an impact on our health and well-being. And that scientific data is beginning to change the way we look at healthcare provision. I mean, right now in the States, 75% of our healthcare costs are because of preventable chronic diseases, many of which have to do with stress. You know, stress and burnout um, have been described as the disease of civilization. <laughs> I, must, I must tell you this, the first time I landed in the United States, uh, wherever I went, people were talking about stress management. I couldn't understand this uh, because in my understanding, we manage things which are precious to us, our family, our property, our business. Why would anybody want to manage stress? <laughs> it took me some time to understand that a whole lot of people have concluded that stress is a part of their life. Stress is not a part of your life or work or anything. Stress is your, just your inability to manage your own body, your mind, your emotions and your life energies. You do not know how to keep your body, mind and emotions, you will be stressed. Stress means the inner dimensions of who you are is under friction. There is sufficient friction in the world. Every day if you have to walk through this world, there's a whole lot of challenges and friction that is there. But once the friction happens within this machine, within this mechanism, if there is friction, then you become completely debilitating, it becomes completely debilitating which is something most human beings are experiencing today. It's like you're trying to run your car without the oil in it. In ten minutes, everything is stressful, everything makes ugly noises within. Right now, people are going through this and it's causing a whole lot of psychosomatic diseases that people are suffering. I would say, seventy percent of the ailments that human beings are suffering are self-created. About thirty percent happen to you from outside because of other organisms and infections and various other things. Maybe some of them are, you know, like uh, by birth people have certain tendencies, but at least seventy percent is self-created, which can be easily reversed if only we attend to the individual human being. and. Uh, I can prove this with hundreds and thousands of cases who have walked out of ailments, not treated, walked out of it simply because a certain level of stress-free existence came. Right now, uh, you know, I've had my lunch and I'm speaking. If I check my pulse, it's somewhere uh, between fifty-five to sixty. If I was an empty stomach and if I sit here quietly for five minutes, this will settle below forty. So there is no question of stress in this one. So when there is no stress, how much maintenance it needs will considerably go down. Right now we can… we have uh, studies to show you this. A simple fifteen-minute meditative process, your metabolism drops up to twenty-four percent in a conscious state. There is sufficient studies to show that human mechanism can brought to a more easy way of functioning. It is not in a hyper state of functioning. Right now anything they have to do, they have to pump themselves like this and do it. No, you can propel yourself very gently. You can propel yourself, when I say gently, not necessarily behind somebody, not necessarily at a lower level of performance. Human mechanism can be made to function different levels. If you're in a certain state of tranquility within yourself, right now I'm made like this, if I close my eyes, world just vanishes for me, it doesn't even exist for me. So how you keep the system is important. Now we're talking about this being a world peace day. If… if peace has to happen, human being should know it within himself. Whatever we are seeing as human societies is just a manifestation of what's happening in individual minds. 
When individual minds are in such a turmoil, how do you bring peace to the world? It's going to be just empty talk.